Hello everyone and welcome to Mabel and the Wood. This is a pre-alpha demo as you can see on the screen and basically it is a game on Kickstarter currently. I think it looks super fun and really quite quite beautiful and I'm really excited to play this demo. So this is basically, I'm just making this because I want to bring awareness that it exists and if you're able to back it, that is awesome. I mean obviously you don't have to, you may not be intrigued at all, but if you are, consider backing it because it's got six days to go and it only needs, I think, one and a half thousand pounds left and it's, it's so close to getting there and I want to play the full thing. So, here we go, let's start with the tutorial. So, press fire to drop the sword and fire opposites. Oh, okay, that's cool. Whoa, that's really cool. Okay, I see. So you can... Ah, I see. Okay, this is cool. Oh, this is very cool. Oh, I like this actually. This is nice. It's an interesting idea. Oh, this is so cool actually. I really like this. How it, it, It's a very unique idea. So we're flying if the lion interacts with an enemy sword and slice through them. Okay, I see. Right, I see how this works. Yeah! Oh, that's so cool! What a cool mechanic! Oh, this is amazing! I love this! And I'm an idiot. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, I don't have to kill them. Oh, if your timing is good, you can also drop it from the sky. Oh, yes! This is awesome! Oh, man, this is such a cool idea. The only thing I would say right now is the way that it goes black and white, I keep thinking I'm going to get hurt by it. And maybe I... maybe I will. I don't know. There we go. Got yeah. I don't think I have to kill them. But let me just check and see if it does hurt me or not. No, it doesn't. It just means I'm going to fall. I don't know. It, I, it just, I just keep thinking it's going to hurt me, which is weird. Uh, press down the shrines to pick up new shapes. Stone form. Spider form? Whoa, wait, 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 what? Whoa. Kill enemies and turn them into platforms. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay. It's about a form. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. This is such a cool idea. Oh my god, yes. Spider girl does whatever a spider can. That, you know, doesn't rhyme, but that's not the point. Oh man. Okay, so let's play the demo. I understand how the game works now. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. This is actually really cool. I can see this game getting really in-depth. Like... I think at the moment it's just, you know, getting used to the whole the whole mechanic, but once I'm used to it, I think this is going to be a phenomenal game to play. And I think it's great already, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's bad at all, but it's just, you know, it's, it's, it just takes some time getting used to it. I'm going to stick with Fairy for now, because I don't know if I need another one yet. Okay, no, I understand how I dropped the sword from midair now. Okay, I understand how it works. Right, I get it. I get it. I was trying to work out how to drop it because I wasn't fully grasping that, but now I get it. You got lucky. You won't that time, though. Haha! -ha. This must be one heavy sword. <laughs> like, really, though. This must. This. What, what kind of... What is this sword made out of? Like, this... Clearly weighing you down. Quite, quite badly. Oh, the potential for speedrunning this game is immense, I must say. Yoink. Oh, I got unlucky. There we go. Aha! Oh, this is awesome. Like, this is such a cool idea. And they did say that, like, obviously it's pre-alpha, um, so there's there's going to be issues here and there. And obviously I, I know that and I respect that. But so far, it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty solid so far. Just 
just really neat, you know. It's just a nice idea. It's unique. It's different. I like it a lot. And I like that you've got loads of options as well. And from what I can understand, you can, like, whenever you beat a boss, you can transform into them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they're sort of similar to, like, the spider form kind of idea. Like, they're, they're gonna be like that. But this is so cool. The music kind of reminds me of, like, Tumbi. I don't know if, if it, any inspiration was drawn for that, but it really does feel like Tumbi 1 kind of music more than Tumbi 2. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. All my yes. Is there not an enemy in there? I was gonna say, normally is. Got ya. But yeah, this is very much like Tumbi, Tumbi 2 has a very different sounding theme, I guess. Like, it feels very different from when you compare it to Tumbi 1. <laughs> it's got a little hat, that's amazing. I love it. I love that. Oh, that's great. Oh, we're getting into deeper territory now, aren't we? Oh no, oh no. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is... This game is so cool, though. Its style kind of reminds me of, like, an updated, untitled story. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what that really is, to be honest. It's quite a... An obscure title to reference, um, but it's, uh, I think it's the same developer as Towerfall Ascension actually, it was one of his earlier games. Um, and yeah, it's, it is a fun little platformer, which is actually one of my, honestly, probably one of my favorite platformers of all time. Like, no joke, it is that fun. Like, it just, it just brings immense joy to me whenever I play it. And, ah, oh, that does a lot of damage. And this seems to be doing the same. Now, I need to know, can I, ah, no, oh my god, why can I not do this? This is just screwing me up, apparently. Um, I want to check something. Can I go all the way to the right? No, I can't. That's all I wanted to know. I have learnt that I cannot, and I accept that. Now we continue on, and I screw up. But no, not again. <laughs> you know what? Let's go to the right. I like the right. The right side is good. We'll do it that way. We won't try and rush things. We're just... Ugh. We won't try and rush things. Immediately rushes things. Oh, okay. So the checkpoints heal you. That's cool. Oh, my God. I knocked off his hat. Either that. Oh, no. I turned him to stone. I switched to stone by accident. My bad. I didn't realise. And I still want to be fair for I think fair is my favourite so far. But that's what it does, it just turns them literally to stone. And you can stand on them. Presumably even the the enemies that are flying, they just stay there. That's pretty cool. What was that noise? <laughs> Apart from oh yay yeah, yay. Yeah. Apart from fear. so close to filling up that meter, I don't know what that meter does yet, but I do want to know, and I'm going to find out, I hope, there is actually a real possibility that the demo ends soon, I don't know, no, I didn't want to go left, there was a, no, I wanted to go left, I didn't want to go this way yet, oh man, oh, is that wind, I think it is, I think there's going to be wind mechanics at some point, play here. I was correct. I think I got quite lucky. Nice. This is fun. I really like this game so far. As I said, like, if you... Oh, boy. Oh, that's... Is that a death? Not quite yet. Yeah. Oh, no! My, my meter thing on the side's gone. Oh, no! It's emptied. I'll never know what it did, no! I'll never find out. I'll never actually know. I'm really sad now. Oh well. Maybe it's for the best. Um, yeah, as I said, if you're interested in this game at all, um, please do consider uh, checking it on Kickstarter because I want it to be fully backed because I want to play the full version whenever it's released. So... 
Yeah, and I know there's a risk of, like, oh, why should I fulfill things on Kickstarter because I've been disappointed by other people but in the past, and that is always a risk. But at the same time, if you don't fund it, a game like this will never ever happen. So, delays suck, and I know that. I do. Oh boy, that did not go well for me. Um, <laughs> whoa, that's strong. Yeah, delays suck. They do. Oh boy. This is not well. Oh man, that's really loud. Yeah, delays suck, but you know, it's it's better than never having a game, so this suddenly got very difficult. I think it's calmed down a little bit. There we go. Nice. Cool, got ya. Yes, there it is! Oh wow, that was tough. Oh, oh I love the water reflection. I love the water reflection. That is gorgeous. Hello. Oh, you take me across! Which is like, hello, worthy traveller. Let me help you. <sighs> Nailed it. Whoa. Oh, it's a, it's a family. A, a dead family, apparently. My bad. I'll just wait for Boatman. I wonder if I can accidentally kill him. Because my sword went into the water, so it's possible. Do I need him? Well, I just drowned. Oh, it waits for me though, that's good. That's very nice of the game. They didn't have to. That's that's very that's very good. Considering this is pre-alpha, it's very impressive. Very, very impressive. And I mean, £7,000 for a game is very small. Like, it's a very small budget. I think it's being made in Game Maker, but that's that's very good. It's very good for Game Maker. Because I... Boy, yi, yi. I know Game Maker is... Oh, wow, really? You killed me? Game Maker's not easy to work with. I am playing all sorts of terrible right now. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, I could just stay on this and not do anything. But then again, there are the enemies here, and I can't really allow that. I can't allow that in my own gameplay philosophy to just take it slow when there are paths above me. However, with these spiders, I will indeed wait down here because they are annoying. Yeah, the music reminds me of the underground cave in Turn B1, this bit in particular. Like a higher pitch version. It, listen to the underground cave theme in Tumbi 1. Tumba in the US. Listen to that. It sounds very similar. I'm not saying plagiarism or anything. Um, I'm not saying that at all. That's not what I mean. It, I mean, so many songs can sound alike. Cause how can you not accidentally copy like a similar melody? Like, it's insane the, the amount of songs that are out there. But it sounds just very similar. And it's just, what I mean is it's just filling me with joy, really. Because it's nostalgia for me. That's not good, is it? Ah, uh, checkpoint somewhere, please. No! Oh, no! Oh, it would be the final enemy, wouldn't it? It would be. Oh, that is kind of soul-crushing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, boy. I was so close to the end. What am I doing? What am I- What am I doing? Okay, I think I'm at the end. No, I'm not. Ooh. There is more. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh, look, your little mole guy with a, hat, with a worker's hat now. I love the little hats that they have. I should have seen that one coming. I really should have. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, boy. Wow, this, this world is all sorts of deadly. It is, it is. I mean, I am playing fairly terribly, to, to be fair, but it, it is it has certainly definitely gotten harder. Whoa! Seriously, I keep not seeing when they're gonna fall. 
And it does tell you, like, very clearly, where they're gonna fall. <laughs> it's entirely my fault. Like, 100%. Oh, hello. I think I've had a secret. I also think you launched me forward a little bit. No! I think I just about got away with it. Yes. No! Oh my god, no. Yes. I will take the health because I'm desperate. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that's disappointing because that's a long way to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. like a speedrunning glitch there. If you get hit, it propels you forward, and you can actually keep the momentum going as long as you have, um, as long as you have the health to do it, and the, uh, energy to keep flying. Little spit- God damn it! <laughs> yes! No! Yes! <laughs> Why is it not activating? Wait, no, it is. It has activated. It's just, it's... It has activated. I don't know why it's not working in the way that it's, it should be, but... Hey, whatever. Whee. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to... I'm gonna go back to fairy, just because I'm more comfortable with fairy, I think. Nothing against the other... Whoa, what was that? That was a bit of a change. I will I will take that as a pre-alpha bug. That was a bit of a like just lighting change I guess. Did I see falling rocks? I did see falling rocks. That wasn't my imagination. Okay, that's cool. And deadly, but cool. Please be enough to launch me over. They are very close to me. Ah! Oh no, is this the end of the demo? Oh man, it was awesome. That was awesome. I really enjoyed that. I actually really enjoyed that. I didn't play my best at times. But boy was that fun. Like, that was super fun. I am very, up, very much up for playing that again. Yeah, as it says there, please support on Kickstarter. It is a lot of fun. Uh, you can try out the demo as well if you are not sure about whether you want to buy it, um, and back it, you know, but it's, it's very cool, it is very cool, I like this game a lot, uh, thank you very much for making this demo, um, because I already backed it, I was very excited for it, but I, I did want to bring attention to it, because it isn't backed yet, and I'm like, I want it to be backed, and this is the way to bring attention to it, this is the best way, so thank you very much for making the demo, hopefully it gets backed, um, yeah, hopefully everything goes well for you, it's, it's, Really cool, really like it. Uh, good luck for the entire thing. Um, I don't know if it's a team effort or if it's just one one person, but seriously, good luck, good luck, and yeah, I look forward to uh, to seeing updates through Kickstarter um, as you make more. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. Go check out the game and uh, take care. Bye bye.